Welcome back, Jordy Dad. And today we're going to be doing reaction to the Manchester United game where we drew zero zero in brackets nil nil. So let's just start off with with the positives. So it's a point that keeps us in the New Europe spaces. Even after Liverpool's win last night against Manchester City. So it's a point that keeps us in the European spots. We had to defend hard in the last 20 minutes. It's positive that we know we can defend. We showed it against Manchester City when they were swarming forward in numbers in the last half an hour, maybe 20 minutes. And managed to defend them. We managed to do it here and Manchester United were pushing for to get that one goal to put them into the lead to make it 1-0 to break the dead rock. And the bonus is we've shown to the Super 6, Super 6, whatever, whatever, whatever they are, that we're not here to be messed around with. We are part of the top 6 and are probably... Going to make it a top seven in a year or two's time. Can you think? We've drawn 3 3 to Manchester City now. We have. Met, we, ne we nearly drew against Liverpool, but they scored in the 98th minute. That is, you know, it got to that point. And we've just drew 0 0 to Man United uh, y yesterday. So it shows. Progression. I might actually do a form video about that. Maybe I've uh, probably first it. No. I'll do a video on that very soon. Maybe tomorrow, actually. Yeah. So come back tomorrow. Obviously, you watch the end of the video first. But come back tomorrow when, I, when I'll be doing the um, Newcastle can make it a top seven in a few years' time. But, the thing is, you could see, I, I, I was just, I was listening to, to someone who was, I had some kind of link to, to watch the match and he, and he was commentating on the match. So, 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 so he said that, that. Manchester United had to basically cheat to beat us, but they still didn't beat us. It was no, no draw. They were diving, trying to get penalties. They're all over the rest because they Ronaldo Ronaldo was an absolute bit cheat. So I don't know if you have seen the highlights, but what happened was we we had a free kick on offside. Can't remember which one it was. So, um, we put the ball too far forward and then we should have like five yards, five to ten yards forward than we should have. So, so Fabian Cher just knocked the ball back to Nick Pope so he can take it. So obviously, the knockback wasn't strong. It was kind of just like a little touch on the ball. It wasn't even, it didn't even roll, maybe. It didn't even roll like three yards. So, then Fabian Cher went over to the right-hand side. Just, 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 just in case Nick Pope wanted an option on the wing, and then obviously Nick Pope wasn't ready to tuck it. The referee hammered in the in the air with a whistle to his mouth, and then at this point, when I thought, "Oh, they have tucking it, yay! Oh, he's taking his time on the ball. He's did 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 he dad dad daddling, so I can steal the ball and score." So Ronaldo. Stood in front of Nick Pope. Nick Pope was obviously like, I haven't took it yet, so why is he standing there? And then he nicked the ball, ran to the side and popped it into an empty net. He got yell carded. All the Manchester United players and fans were absolutely fuming. To me, it's a... Uh, it, the referee in their yard did the right decision. Obviously, I'm going to be biased. But he 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 won't he, he didn't take the free kick. I don't know what Ronaldo was thinking. Well done to the referee. Ah, obviously when you go to Old Trafford, you're not 
not expecting any VAR to go your way. But it did, and luckily for us. And Manchester United have all will say, Oh, we're being warped. Uh -huh. Oh, no, we're being warped. Newcastle United, we hate you and all this. Tell you what, I don't actually care. And tell you why, you just got outplayed yesterday, to be honest. Because, yeah, because there was all the that every penalty shot you did was a dive. We we should have had two. The the poor the shirt by, um, I think it was Rafael Varan or Martinez on Dan Burn. That should have been one pen. And then Wilson went running through. He got sandwiched, went to ground. Again, should have been another pen. So there's two penalties that should have um, been given, but they didn't. Um, so, what, what, what it sounded right? New us, Newcastle, was the be better team to to start off with. It, we, we were definitely the be better team, but obviously we must have either got tired or we must have just been... Or we might have wanted to go, or, or we might have just want to push too far forward. Or if we go too far forward, Manchester United have got the people to hit us on the break, and and have the the tricks and skills to to make it one 0 So maybe that's why we decided to sit deep in the last fifteen twenty minutes. But we got there, and that is what's brilliant. So. We have Everton on Wednesday. If, right here I'm going to do tomorrow, if we can't beat Everton, well, I'm going to save my video tomorrow, don't know how we can beat. I don't know how we can do one of the three of the top six clubs. But anyways, that's the end of the reaction video. Come back tomorrow and also come back Wednesday and Thursday. Yes, five days in a row upwards obviously it was on yesterday's a preview today was reaction tomorrow be we can make it a top seven we we'll we'll are already making it a top seven preview to everton match reaction on the thursday and then i, I don't know what we might do on the friday and the saturday but definitely five videos coming out in five days and this is two in two days so I'll catch you all in a catch you all tomorrow. It'll be it will go out probably tomorrow about about four o'clock. So come back to the channel after four and there should be a video live. Anyways, bye.